So I just wanted to make a quick video about using a play project with uh, IntelliJ, or rather editing and running. So for this I've just quickly made a play Java template, a new one, but you can use an existing one if you like. I've went through the process of running it uh, from the folder and then I've connected to it. And so I'm happy that that's a working project at this point. Control D to close the server down. And if we open IntelliJ at this point, we can then get on with the next part. So you'll need to have a pre existing, well, actually, shall, I'll get ahead of myself. If we just go to settings here, under file settings. Go to plugins, and search for Scala. <laughs> so you're going to need this plugin. Uh, you might not see it in the list when you search for it here, but you can click on search the repositories. It should be quite easy to find. Just install it, go to apply, then OK. Then go to file new project from existing sources and find your project folder. This is mine, Rocket Brute Line. It may be like this, but choose import and choose SPT. I would choose SPT sources here. I don't think it really matters. I don't think you need the shell um, because you can use the little console that's built in to IntelliJ. So it only takes one or two minutes. In fact, I should say about 20 or 30 seconds, <laughs> which is okay. So. Strange, why is that doing that? Um, project files. Um, okay, this is being strange with me. There we go. Yeah, for some reason it just shows you an odd. Anyway, don't worry about it. So, we now have this um, project. Uh, you can see at the bottom actually that it's currently building SPT or installing it or something along those lines. It does this usually. I wouldn't worry about it. What I would do after this has probably happened to you. Go to run and then go to edit configurations. At this point you can add one by clicking on the green arrow. SPT task. Give it a name like run play or something type run here. This is just so it'll run the run SPT run and then you can see up here you've got run play. <laughs> Click the plus or the play and we should see it firing up the server. And that might actually be it, I'm not too sure. Yeah, so you'll notice it's just doing the same thing as it would normally do, compiling the sources the first time you try to connect. Um, and we will see what happens. Cool. Now if you want to, well, everything should work um, as it's expected to at this point. But if you have any other problems, I guess, use the documentation or just search for information about using um, an IDE with play. But hopefully that's helped and it hasn't been too long and boring. <laughs>